Ezekiel chapter 2 starting at verse 1 and he said unto me son of man stand upon thy feet and I will speak unto thee and he spirit and he spirit in the, into me when he spake unto me and I said and set me upon my feet that I heard him that spake unto me and, and he said unto me son of man I send thee to to the rebel to the children of Israel to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me and they and they and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day but they are imputed children and stiff-hearted I do send thee unto them and thou shalt say unto them thus say you how how and they whether they will hear or whether they will forbear but they are a rebellious house, yet shall they know that there ha hath been a prophet among them. I want to say all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakadash, double honors to the Apostle, Elders, and Prophets, and their respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. And the basic title of this lesson is uh, Israel, a rebellious house that refused to hear the truth and let me repeat the title again it's Israel a rebellious house that refused to hear the truth and and you see that these prophecies have been popping off left and right you see that the men of the Lord the true men of the Lord are on the highways byways teaching telling our people what thus said Yahweh to repent and turn back to the to the uh, law, statutes, commandments of the Most High. But yet you have our people, they still continue to be stiff necked and they still continue to be rebellious. And the reason why their brothers have continued making videos and getting on to you Israelites, man, is because you all are still continue to be rebellious. You still continue to hang on to to this society. And the Most High made it very clear that we should not follow after the customs of the other nations because they because they will turn our heart against the Most High. And and the Scripture also goes on to say that the Most High is a jealous, it's a jealous power that he's visiting the iniquities on the fathers unto the children until the third and fourth generation. And we've been told these scriptures time and time and time again. But Israel, being the people that they are, and, I, and I'm talking about the two thirds, that they continue to be rebellious. They continue to transgress against Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai. And even even when you had the prophets among them warning them to repent, warning them, warning them to turn back to the most high. Yet you got Israel still continue to be rebellious until this day, man. <clears throat> and I'm gonna read Ezekiel chapter two and we'll go ahead and start at verse six. It said, Thou son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words. Though briars and thorns be with thee, and thou doest dwell among scorpions, be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed, nor be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. But when the, when, it, when the men of the Lord, you know, are on the highways, byways teaching, and or doing lessons, we shouldn't be afraid of, those pe of, of how our people will respond to the gospel because a lot of our people, the most high religion, know that they're going to reject the gospel, the two thirds, is no matter how you teach and preach the gospel unto them, they still continue to reject the truth. They still continue to live like, like the most high does not dwell among them. They still continue to live and wickedness, you know. It's also a scripture which I probably bring out a little while. It said, you know, continue, you know, get a warning, 
you know, whether they hear or whether they will forbear. And and our people, you know, they're very wicked, especially when you got brothers doing live live camp. And 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 the, and the brothers will continue to tell them that you're Israelites, you need to repent. You got you got people that will continue to to walk by and they will continue to just walk as though that the most high is not talking to them, that the most high is not dealing with them. And and it's very sad. And it's very sad that when you do that you you causing yourself to be marked, to have a mark upon you. And that, that mark is uh the judgment and and to prove the point is <coughs> it's, it's uh, Ezekiel chapter nine. I'm gonna go ahead and start at the at the top at the first verse. It <coughs> it reads, He cried also in my ears with a loud voice saying, Call them that have charge over the city to draw near, even every man with a destroyed weapon in his hand. And behold, six men came from the way of the higher gate, which lied toward the toward the north, and every man a slaughter weapon in his hand. And one man among them was was clothed with linen and with a right inkhorn by his side and they went in and stood beside the brazen altar and the glory of how power of Israel was going up from the cherub whereupon he, he was to the threshold of the house and he called to the man clothed with linen which had the right inkhorn by his side and Yahweh said unto him Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that have been done in the midst thereof. And and and, and that's what the men of the Lord do. You know, they sigh and cry for all these abominations that's going on, especially here in Babylon the Great, especially here in the society where, where we constantly tell our people to repent and turn back to the hands of the Most High. But yeah, our people, they continue to, uh, they refuse and they rebel. And the scripture goes on to say that, you know, they're going to be the, they're going to be the vow for the mouth that Yahweh has spoken. But, you, but you, you see that our people, they continue to refuse and they continue to rebel. And we continue, to, the men of the Lord continue to decide and cry about these abominations that are going on, especially among the midst of our people. We don't have pleasure seeing our people being destroyed, but Zechariah 13 and 8 tells us two parts of our people are going to be cut off and die. Now, and, and, and for those who are waking up in the truth, you probably be like, okay, why well, continue to, 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 to teach and preach? Until then, you knowing that they're not going to receive it. We continue to preach unto them because the scripture tells us to warn, warn our people, to get them warned from him. That's in the book of Ezekiel. You know, when Most High told Zeke, he said, "Give them warning from me," and that's what we're supposed to do: to continue to warn the people. But yeah, we already know they're not gonna get it. But guess what? They're they're going to uh, they're not going to have no excuse either, because when these judgments and when these things that is, is, is going forth throughout the earth, they will have no excuse. Even your house shall I say it best? You know, they they're not gonna have any cloak for their sin. That means they're not gonna have no excuse. Because that the sound is going throughout all the earth, you know the sound of our of the prophets telling our people to repent, telling our people to come back to the Most High. But yet our people, they still continue to live in the ways of, of the society. All they focus on is getting them rats. All they focus on how many women, how many men they can get, and all this other nonsense. But the Most High to tell our people to repent and. <clears throat> And every time that that um, uh, our people don't repent, they just walk by and act as though they that they never heard the word. You know, they they get marked, they get sealed, man. You know, you mark yourself for destruction when you when you scoff against the men of the Lord, when you scoff against the word of the Most High, and and when you act like that, the word doesn't apply to you, and you act as though that that the Most High ain't talking to you. You know, you 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 putting a mark upon yourself, and, and for those who who heard the gospel and they repented and they turned back to the Most High, you know, you basically you you sit you you basically being said to be part of the elect. You know, we don't know who the elect is. We just praying that we're part of the elect. 
But guess what? We still got to continue to make our calling and election sure by doing the work, man, by continuing to warn our people, even though that they don't want to hear the truth. And you got a lot of people do, doing that. And, and like, like I read in Ezekiel chapter 9, you know, that, you know the most high to tell the angel, you know, angel with the inkhorn on the side to Martha that sigh and cry. And, and that's the men of the Lord. They they sealed and they, they, they get sealed, you know, to be the elect, you see. They signed a crime about the abomination, you know, and then what, that's why you got brothers making videos, man. They continue to make videos about the wicked society and about all these things because they are signing a crime about the abominations of, of this society. Also, they signed a crime because they, they our people continue to be wicked no matter how much truth that you put out and, and, and that you are, uh, uh, that you tell our people, our people still will continue to be rebellious, man. They still will continue to not even hearken unto the voice of Yahweh by Shem And this was going to happen to our people. This won't happen to, you know, uh, the, those who, who are not part of the elect. You know, let's, let's listen. You know, uh, Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 5. It said, And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near uh, near any man upon whom is is the mark. And begin at my sanctuary. And that, then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. It, it, and, and basically... The Most High is going to tell the other angels that they had the, the, the uh, slaying weapons in their hand to uh, go and smite those who don't have the mark, man. But those who have the mark, you don't put your hands on them. Because, because those, the ones that have the mark, those are the ones that seal to be delivered, man. To be delivered from the destruction. And, and two-thirds of our people are going to be cut off and die because they refuse to hear the truth. And, and, and when you feel to hear the truth and you rebel, are you scoffing and laugh at the men of the Lord for trying to keep the law, statute, and commands to the best, best of their ability, you you uh, you sending yourself for destruction, man. You know, you're sending yourself for destruction. That's what a lot of our people are doing. They're sending themselves for destruction because they don't want to hear the truth. And, and, and once the, the judgment go out, there's nothing that, that we can do about that. We, you know what I'm saying? We're not going to sit there and stop the judgment of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh because the judgment is going to go forward. Whether you hear the truth or whether you forbear. And our people, they're rebellious, man. Every time you teach our people, they quit to say, well, I ain't done nothing wrong. Uh, well, I went to church yesterday. Uh, I, I, I uh, repented, you know. And, and they go back and they do the same things over and over and over again. You know, they... they uh, they um uh, they don't want to hear the truth because scripture tells us that they don't want to hear the truth and and again another quick scripture you know showing that our people don't like to hear the truth we're gonna get isaiah chapter 30 and we're gonna start at verse 8 you know one of my favorite scriptures that i love to, you know love to bring out isaiah 30 and 8 it it reads now go write it before them in a table which is the scriptures that and noted in a book that it may be for a time to come forever and ever. Verse 9, this that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of Yahweh. And that's the two-third Israelites, man. Because Psalms 147 chapter, uh Psalms 147 chapter uh, verse 19 to 20 tells us that he showed the word unto Jacob and law statute commands to Israel. For a judgment to Israel and for the other nation, they not, have not known him. You know, you, could, you know that, that his law statute command was given to the children of Israel, and so guess what? And, and they they don't want to hear the law, even if you read in, in uh, Exodus when our people got delivered from the hand of Pharaoh. You know, they they murmur and they complain and they build a golden calf and and they continue to complain rebelled against uh the prophet Moses and against Aaron and against the most high man. They, they they our people always rebel against the truth man. And you see it time and time again throughout scripture. And today 
is no is no different. Today is no exception. And our people still rebel against the, the word of Yahweh Shem Al Shah. When you tell them that they need to repent. But guess what? They they still don't want to repent. They still continue to do what they want to do. And this is what they say unto the prophets, man. Uh, Isaiah 30 and 10. It said, We say unto the seers, well, seers are called prophets, by the way. See not and unto the prophets. Prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy to see. And that's why you got a lot of our people, they love going to these heart houses, these churches. Because the pastor tell them what they want to hear. They don't want to hear that they have to repent. Because you tell our people that they need to repent and they, that they need to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Get what they look at you all sideways like like you the one that's evil because you're telling our people to repent you see our people don't, they don't want to hear the truth man they 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 love to hear you know lies they love to hear being deceived they love to hear hear you know deception they love to hear lies they love to hear that they that they accepted in this society which they are not man they they hate the truth you know they love lies and they hate the truth they you know what I'm saying? My, you know, the scripture goes on to say that my people love to do wickedness, but to do, but to do good, they know not. You know, roughly paraphrasing, they they quit to do evil, but to do good, they don't they don't know how. And a lot, and when they even heard about how to live righteous, they they reject it. Why they reject it? Because there's no light in them. You know, they they have no light in them. You know, especially those. Those that claim they are in the truth. You had these other camps out here. They they saying that John the Baptist, you know what I'm saying, he he you know saying he wasn't a man of the most high. You know, they, they say all types of stuff because he didn't follow your house child. And you know all this other nonsense. Our people hate the truth. Even though they claim they're in the truth, they trying to distort the word of Yah by Shem Al to fit they to fit their selfish motive, man. The most high ain't dealing with that, yo. You got to understand the fact of the matter that this is nothing to play with, man. You know, the, the children of Israel, the most high chosen people, they don't want to hear the truth. They they tell the prophets, I'm reading verse 10 again, it said, We say unto the seers, see not. And unto the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy to see, basically proph prophesy unto the lies and deception. We don't want to hear the truth. And this is how they feel, Isaiah 30 and 11. It reads, get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path. You know, turn turn away from the truth. He said, cause the Holy One of Israel, which is Yahweh, to cease from before. They don't want to hear the truth. And that's very plain right here. They they, they don't want to hear the truth because they love this society. They, they love to hear that they're going to get their 40 acres in a mule in this society, which we know they're not going to get in, in this society because Esau don't want them to get it. You see? Esau not gonna let them get it. They're not gonna let them prosper in their society. And our people, yet yeah, they they refuse to understand that this is not their this is not their place of rest. I believe in the book of Zephaniah, it said, "Arising apart, for this is not your place of rest. It, it's gonna it, you're gonna it's gonna cause you to be destroyed with swift sword destruction." You know, roughly paraphrasing, because our people they love they love this uh, uh they love this society, man. They love being you know on these devils man they they love to hear lies they love when esau speaks they love when esau lie to them and, and, and they love to hear that their sweet sweet man sweet uh white man jesus loves everybody they love to hear that especially even big mom she loves her about white man jesus she don't want to hear about the your house shy that's in the scriptures that, that uh, he eat on it for israel they don't want to hear that you know, our people they hate the truth, man. And 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 uh and <coughs> and um <coughs> still like it. You know, they, they love they love the uh to try to honor the most high with they with their lips. Well but the scripture said that, that their heart is far from him. And in the prove the point is uh you know, well we read uh Saint Matthew chapter fifteen, I'm gonna go ahead and start at uh at the top. You know, this is also another point I want to get. It said, then came your house then came to your house scribes and Pharisees, which are the, which were of Jerusalem, saying, Why do thy disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. 
in this way, in verse 3 says, But he answered and said unto him, This your house shall talk. He said, Why do you also transgress the commandment of Yahweh by your tradition? And what's that tradition? You know, that tradition is basically keeping these pagan holidays. You know, they want to keep the holidays of the other of the nation, the custom of the other nation. They don't want to hear about the laws of Yahweh by Shem Shah. They want to keep their traditions, man. They want to keep their Christmases and their Valentine's Days and their St. Patrick's Days and they uh and they Fourth of July's and and, and they uh <clears throat> and they birthdays and all these other pagan holidays that they love to keep from these other societies. They transgress the commandment of Yah by Shem Shah by by their tradition, by you know, trying to be like the other nations. <laughs> You see, and, and that's really why we we at the stage we are now. We are at the bottom, and our people they refuse to hearken. They refuse to wake up to the truth. They refuse to understand that that all for us to come out of our captivity, we got we got to surrender, and we got to come back to Yah by Shem Al Shah. We got to repent. We got to do things His way. You know, we can't do things our way and anything that we're gonna gonna get into the kingdom. You're not gonna supplant your way into the kingdom. You have to, have to do it the way of Yah by Shem Al Shah, or you're going to be destroyed. That's just plain and simple. And the Most High, He gave us, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? He gave us uh, law, statute, commandments. He gave us feast days. He gave us high holy days that we should observe and do. But our people, they don't want to hear that. They want to keep the Christmases, and they want to keep the Thanksgivings. They want to keep the Fourth of July, the birthdays, you know, so called Valentine's Day. And all these other days, and, and especially that 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 king, that's that's chief among the women, man, of Israel. Cause a lot of women, they they're trying to use the fact that, that and a lot of a lot of women, you know, I'm not saying all, of them, but a lot majority of them, they hate the Most High, man. They hate the Most High, and and they and they'll quit. They hold on to to these uh these false traditions, man. Then they'll say that well, the kids enjoy it, and the kid and it's for the kids. And it's special to them. And guess what? It don't matter what's special to them. We go about what does say Yah by Shem Al Shah. You see, if you if you keeping these traditions, then guess what? You going off, man. You sinning against the Most High. And especially when you heard the truth and you still doing it, that shows that you hate the Most High, man. You hate you hate the Most High with every, with all the fiber of your being. You hate Him because you still keeping them traditions, man. You know. You making the word of Most High none effect by your tradition. But continue on. For Yahweh command is saying, Honor thy father and mother, and he that curse his father and mother, let him die to death. You know, talking back against your parents, man. You know, you putting a curse on your parents because they trying to teach you the right way. And in this society, they they saying that oh it's okay for the children to speak against the parents, man. You know, and they encourage them to do so. <laughs> But it say if you if you curse your father or your mother, you know, and you put a curse upon them, it say that you know you're gonna die to death. But but in this society, verse five, uh, Matthew fifteen five said that. But ye say, whosoever shall say to a father or his mother, it is a gift, by whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me. <clears throat> and uh, and honor not his father or his mother, then he shall be free. You know you can dishonor your parents in society, and and you can get away with it. And, and and that's what a lot of our people do. They dishonor their parents, man. Especially when they are in the truth, and they and, you, and they really, really, and they seem to really rebel. Then, you know, and it, and it goes on and said that you made the commandments of Yahweh of none effect by uh, by your tradition. Ye hypocrites, where did Isaiah prophesy unto you, saying, This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth? And honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. And and a lot of people hard they far from the most high. And and, and how they far from the most high cause they continue to hold on to their tradition. They go in these harder houses, which is so called churches, and they and they act as though that uh that by them going to church that they they, they believe they saved. They even have a gospel in these harder houses. You know, you want saved, always say with you. We know that's not true, that's going off. Because you have to repent, and you, and also you have to be chosen by the Most High anyway. You don't get to choose the Most High; He chooses you, and that shows that our people goes off and they hate the truth. Because when you, 
show that in the scripture. The scriptures say uh, that you know we ought to be chosen from the foundation of the world. They don't like to hear that, and they don't like to hear that the gospel is only for Israel. They hate the truth. You know they 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 want they honor uh, yeah. Uh, they, they want on the most how they live, but they're not bringing no fruit, man. They're not they're not repenting. They're not trying to, you know, live for the most high, man. They 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 said just the the the, the, the trying to believe that they're going to just waltz their way into the kingdom, but it, it doesn't work like that, man. They think they're going to be, they, you know, they believe that they're going to just get walked, uh, they 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 just going to be up out of here like that, you know, slacking for that, you know, a little stuttering going on, but uh. You know, they are almost how they live, but get what they hard to follow him. They're not going to do what he say anyway. And scripture goes on, uh, this, you know, let me get up. No, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to get Matthew chapter 7. But uh, it's a, I'm going to read verse 8 again. It said, If people draw now to me with their mouth, they honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching the doctrine, the, teaching for doctrine the commandments of men. And, and that's what this Christianity does. They teach the doctrines and commandments of men. They don't teach the word of the Most High. You got people among Israel, they, they, they got that 501c3. You know, they, 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 they have to teach, they can't teach certain things. They teach the uh, doctrines of men so that way they can keep their tax free exemption, man. You got all this stuff going on in, 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 in Israel, and they hate the truth, man. They hate the doctrine of Yahweh by Shimmy Hashem. You know what I'm saying? They they uh they made the world of Yahweh an unfair by their tradition. And and then they think because they doing it that they're gonna just get it go, go uh, get into the kingdom. But let's see what Yahweh shall have to say about that. Uh <clears throat> then we're gonna read Matthew chapter seven, verse twenty one. It reads, Not not everyone said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my father which is in heaven. Many would say unto me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have, have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. And there's going to be a lot of you Israelites out there, man. And you're going to see that the men of the Lord, the true men of the Lord, are going to be, uh, going to be in the chariots. But you yourself, you're gonna be thrust out, man. You're gonna be thrust out. Or you, you're, not, you're gonna be left behind, per se, and to be destroyed by the nuclear destruction. And, and a lot of you gonna cry out and say, "We taught in your streets. We, we ate at your table. We, we, we done this. We done that. We done that." But you didn't hear. You didn't repent. You didn't turn back to the law, statutes, commandments of Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. So. By you not repenting and, and, and turning back to the law, statutes, and commandments, you how about Shem Al Shah, you know, you you end up you end up being shot, man. You know, most high most high didn't uh, pick you, man, because you wasn't chosen from the beginning anyway, and, and you did it to get clout. You did it to, uh, you know, what I'm saying to trying to uh, <coughs> select. You did it to trying to get your following, man. You didn't have the true intention of waking up the whole for a living. Well, waking up their list to Israel because if you had intention on uh, uh so, so like if you had intention on waking up the elect, you would do what God by Shem Al Shah said to do, man. And and this and this is gonna be uh the last scripture, you know, uh and, and this is gonna be the last scripture. And this is basically saying the same thing in Mark, uh Matthew chapter fifteen, but we're gonna read it anyway. This is uh, Mark chapter 7. I'm, and I'm just going to go ahead and just start at, uh, at verse 6. He answered and said unto them, Where have Isaiah prophesied unto you hypocrites? As it, as it is written, His people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Howbeit in vain they do worship me, teaching the doctrine the commandments of men. For laying aside the commandments of Yahweh, Ye hold the tradition of men as washing the pots and cups and many others just like ye do. And he said unto them, Fear well ye, full well ye reject the commandments of Yahweh, and that ye may keep your own tradition. And that's what a lot of our people do. 
they reject the commandments of Yahweh Hashem and Shah and they keep their and they keep their traditions, man. They keep their Christmases, and they keep their Thanksgivings, they keep their Fourth of July, and their Valentine's Day, and their birthdays, and all these other traditions that they love to keep. And they reject the word of the Most High. And when you tell them that they, that they, uh, you you dishonoring the Most High by doing that, they 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 will make excuses. I mean, this is Israel now. This is two third Israelites. Uh, they were trying to justify the fact of matter why they keep the holidays. An example of that, you know, when I used to work at uh at, at this other job, man, and, and I you know I had worked the midnight shift, basically called the wrap down shift. And when I worked that shift, uh, it was a guy, you know, I guess he was a so-called pastor. He was he was talking about Christmas, which we know he was going off, and and um. He asked me how my Christmas went. You know, I don't celebrate Christmas anyway because it's a pagan holiday. And basically, I told him that you know it was you know it was another day basically boring because I don't celebrate I don't celebrate Christmas. And the guy, basically, guy got guy said, oh, you saying that Jesus' birthday boring? Even he, he named it Jesus your house shot by the way. And we know that his birthday is not Christmas, December twenty fifth. But you know, you that celebrate, you know, top top move, but that's a whole nother video for another day. But you know, continuing on, he was you know, I told him, I said, my father, I said, that's not even say his birthday anyway. He got mad and upset because I said that. You know, I told him that it's not say birthday, but then he goes on and trying to justify, um, justify why they celebrate you know, December 25th, they said, well, we don't, we know that not birthday, but we celebrate just to be mine. No, you, 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 you basically right there, you rejected mm -hmm. the word of the most high because you want to keep your, keep your Christmas tradition. That's what it all boils down to. And, and, and that's, that's, that's what our people do. Our people love to do wickedness, man. You see, they, they, they keep their holidays. They keep their holiday because they want to to uh, um, they they transgress the law, law statute commands for y'all by Shem Al Shah, just to keep their holidays, man. Just to keep they uh, they keep they to their traditions going, and especially the traditions of the society. And you know, continuing on, it said uh, Matt uh, not flocking Mark seven and ten. It said for Moses said, Honor thy father and thy mother, and whosoever curse the father and mother, let him die to death. But ye say, if a man should say unto his father or mother, it is Corbin, that is to say, a gift by whatsoever that thou mightest be profited by me, he shall be free. And ye suffer him no more to to do all for his father or his mother, making the word of Yahweh none effect to your tradition, which ye had delivered as such, and delivered many such like things do ye. And, and basically, you you know basically you tell the people in this in this society you know basically say that you know you discipline your children you know you uh <clears throat> you know you can go to jail for abuse but the but scripture tells us that if we don't um, if we don't discipline our children you know they become bastards man you know I'm roughly paraphrasing we we gotta get what we love our children we discipline them. we'll teach them the right way. Regardless on whether they hear or whether they will forbear, because it was it's our duty as parents, you know, especially in the house of Israel, to teach our children the law, statute, commands of Yahweh by Shimei Al Shah. Whether they hear or whether they forbear, and guess what? When you teach them the truth, you know the blood is no longer on your hand; the blood is on their hands. Whether they hear or whether they reject it, that that that's not for you to decide. You see that that's for the most high. You know, if they reject it, they have to deal with the most high. And, <clears throat> and to uh the devout that lesson up mm -hmm. that our people, they hate the truth, man. They hate the gospel of Yahweh by Shimi Al Shah. And our people continue to keep the traditions of, of this society, they keep the ways of this society. And Revelation chapter eighteen, verse four tells us to come out of her, my people that ye be not partaker of her sins, and that ye receive none of her plagues. And, and we heard these scriptures time and time again, and it's been taught time and time again. 
and we do it for edification purpose, but also at the same time, we will tell our people who warn them to repent, but yet our people still refuse to do so. And by them refusing to do so, they refuse to repent. They, they acknowledge the fact of the matter that the word of the Most High, you know, it doesn't mean anything to them. And, and by them doing that, they see their own faith, and they see their own destruction, man. As it written in, uh, <clears throat> in Ezekiel chapter 9, you know, roughly around, you know, first through around the 6th, 7th verse, you know, your brother could correct me on that. But, you know, that's it for a lesson. Just wanted to do a lesson on the title of uh, Israel, you know, that Israel is, is rebellious even though they, they heard the truth. You know, the title means something to that effect. But I pray that this lesson will edify. I want to say, call Ahoya, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, Rakakadash, that belongs to the apostles, elders, and prophets, and no respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. See you again with another lesson real soon. Yahweh, Shalom, Ababa, Ball, and Kwame Asherala.